A really common question that we get from first home buyers and property investors is how much does a credit card affect my ability to borrow on a mortgage? In this video, I'm going to teach you the formula for calculating exactly how much that limit affects your ability to borrow. Thanks for watching this video. If you're watching on YouTube, please click subscribe below. All of the ad revenue that we generate from these videos goes 100% to local New Zealand charities. So just watching the video helps out these worthwhile causes. Okay, so how much does a credit card affect your ability to borrow? One of the first things you need to know is the difference between a balance and a limit. You might have a limit of $10,000 and be able to borrow up to that amount but you may never have spent more than $1,000 on your credit card. Unfortunately, when you're applying for a mortgage, the bank has to assume the worst case scenario, and that would be you blowing out your credit card or maxing it out to its limit. Most credit cards require a payment of 3% per month, so a $10,000 limit means $300 per month from your income. Now you might say that you are on a interest-free or a 0% interest credit card, so no payments are required. Most banks offer a 0% or low interest credit card, but these offers are valid for a limited time. In other words, once you've had the card for 12 months, the rate then jumps back up to the normal 20% per annum. The bank again has to assume the worst case scenario for any situation. A lot of people jump from year to year around these interest free credit cards and that's a great strategy, but eventually they run out of credit cards to go to and they have to start paying that amount down. So the bank has to assume you are paying the full payment on your limit. So how much does a $10,000 limit affect how much you can borrow? Well, it turns out that $300 of income per month, which is what we calculated the minimum repayments to be on a $10,000 credit card limit, can be used to borrow up to $45,000 on a mortgage. In other words, a credit card limit stops you from borrowing four and a half times that amount of mortgage. If you've got a $20,000 credit card, that will reduce your borrowing by $90,000. To some people, $20,000 might seem like a large credit card limit, but remember, this is the total over both of the applicants. So just a $10,000 credit card each will mean $90,000 less borrowing on your mortgage. Even, and this is the important thing to take away, even if you don't use the credit card at all. Remember, it's the credit card limit, not your balance or your spending, that stops you from borrowing. A side point here is that overdrafts and store cards are treated in the same way as credit cards. So if you have a $5,000 overdraft, that's another $22,500 of mortgage that you can't borrow, whether you use the overdraft or not. Now you don't have to cancel all your credit cards just to get a mortgage. A lot of cards have air points benefits that give you extra points for just using them on your day-to-day -day spend. But if you are facing an income hurdle, in other words, you're struggling to get the mortgage you want because of your income more than your deposit, then reducing your credit card limit can really help this. If you have a $10,000 credit card limit and you've never gone over $1,000, reduce it to $1,000. You'll be able to borrow so much more to buy your first home or your next investment property. Get rid of those unused overdrafts, close the unused store cards. The difference in quality of property that another $100,000 can buy you is worth the effort. Thanks for watching, I hope that was helpful. Comment below and let me know if you've cut up your credit card or reduced your credit card limit. I'm always keen to know about people who have successfully borrowed using this strategy.